why the notion of an all-electric vehicle was at one time considered a bit of a pipe dream, conjured up in some sci-fi universe, the concept has become a reality. Yes, electric engines has now gone mainstream, and they are being used to power everything from sedans to supercars. Concept cars, especially supercar concepts, are more for looking at than actually driving, made to spark a discussion, rather than reaching any destination. However, electric supercar concepts vehicles show that the electric engine is going mainstream. Here is a rundown of 11 new electric supercars that have some astonishing specs. But before we do, let's check out the new 2020 Ferrari SF90 Straddle. While it's not a pure electric car, it is powered by a twin-turbo 4-liter V8 and 3 electric motors. This hybrid drivetrain's max power number is 736 kilowatts, or a tidy 1000 horsepower. It can lap the company's Fiorino track almost a second quicker than the Ferrari supercar. The SF90 won't be bound to a strict production limit number. While most customers don't know how much they will be paying for it, it is likely that it will wear a $1 million price tag. Production will begin late this year, with deliveries following in the first half of 2020. Number 10. Porsche Mission E With low 911-like design, the Porsche Mission E would get the love from those who enjoy classic Porsche styling. The interior too is likely to be a big hit thanks to the futuristic gesture-controlled interface. On release, it will be Porsche's first fully electric car, driven by two electric motors that will produce over 440 kilowatts. Porsche also claims that with its Porsche turbocharging system, the Mission E's battery will charge to 80% in just 15 minutes, giving this car a super edge in both looks and performance. It has projected performance figures of 0 to 100 km per hour in less than 3.5 seconds, 0 to 200 km per hour in less than 12 seconds, and a top speed of over 250 km per hour or 155 miles per hour. Porsche is aiming for the Mission E to achieve a range of over 500 km or 311 miles. Number 9. The 2020 Tesla Roadster the upcoming Roadster electric supercar is expected to start at $200,000 when it hits the road in 2020. It certainly has dazzled onlookers with its high speed and range. It is an ambition follow-up to the company's first ever vehicle, the 2008 Roadster. The new iteration boasts a 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration time of 1.9 seconds, 0 to 100 miles per hour times of 4.2 seconds, and a quarter mile in 8.8 .8 seconds. It also reaches speeds of over 250 miles per hour and its 200 kilowatt hour battery runs for 620 miles. Number 8. Aston Martin Rapid E Nearly four years after it was originally announced, the first all-electric Aston Martin has finally been revealed. Based on the existing combustion engine Aston Martin Rapid sedan, all the 155 will be made, and Aston Martin didn't announce a price for the car. It is powered by a bespoke battery pack encased in carbon fiber and Kevlar, using more than 5600 lithium-ion cells. Aston says there is 800 volts and 65 kilowatt hours in total, a full range of 200 miles, and it can recharge at 185 miles per hour with a 50 kilowatt charger or 310 miles per hour using 100 kilowatt or more. A total of 601 braking horsepower and 700 foot-pound of torque is produced, which is quite a lot. This is sent to the rear wheels only to a pair of electric motors recording some incredible times. It will go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 4 seconds, go from 50 to 70 miles per hour in just 1.5 seconds, and a top speed of 155 miles per hour. And because of that new battery, Aston says that Rapid E will deliver its performance in a consistent and repeatable way as you would expect with a traditional Aston Martin. Number 7. Rimac C2 Croatian hypercar maker Rimac unveiled the C2 earlier this month during the Geneva Motor Show, as a direct successor for the Concept 1, made even more famous following Richard Hammond's crash. Now, three weeks later, nearly all 150 cars planned for production have already been accounted for, despite the model's eye-watering starting price of $2.1 million. Its four electric motors develop a combined of 1,914 horsepower and a 1,696 foot-pound of torque. The front wheels individually use a single-speed gearbox each, 
while the use of twin two-speed gearboxes at the rear makes for a top speed of 258 miles per hour. It will cover off 0 to 100 miles per hour in 4.3 seconds, a quarter mile in 9.1 seconds, and don't presume it runs out of puff once it's past three figures. Rimax says its new flagship will see off 0 to 186 miles per hour in just 11.8 seconds. These numbers are comparable to those of Bugatti Chiron and Kensegian Agera RS, the fastest cars in the world. Number 6. The Audi PB18 e-tron The new Audi PB18 e-tron concept is getting the green light. Audi CEO said that the all-electric supercar should show up sometime in the next year or two, though just 50 examples will make their way to production. Concentrates instead on the details like a low and mid-mounted 95kWh battery capable of accepting a full 360-mile mile charge in only 15 minutes thanks to 800V charging capacity. Or, if you are less stung by range anxiety, a claimed 0 to 62 miles per hour that will be announced at a later date. That comes from three electric motors, one shared between the front wheels and one each for the rears, developing a combined 661 brake horsepower but capable of short overboost of up to 753 brake horsepower. Number 5. S Park Owl. The Aspark Owl is a Japanese EV hypercar that costs a reputed $3.6 million and does 0 to 60 miles per hour in a verified 1.9 seconds. Not for long though, thanks to its measly 93 miles range. The company claims it has a top speed of 174 miles per hour, a dry weight of around 3300 pounds and a range of 160 miles on its full charge, and that's if you are not trying to break that 0 to 60 miles per hour time. To buy it, you need a non-refundable deposit ask of 1.15 million dollars. This deposit gets you a third of the way there to the full 3.6 million dollar price tag, which is down from the 4.4 million price of last year. As part, the Japanese engineering firm that's been developing the car since 2014 still only plans to build 50 of the Owls. Number 4. The Dendrobium D1 The D1 is being developed by Dendrobium, a new company that falls under Singapore-based Vanda Electrics. Dendrobium will eventually use solid-state batteries to power the D1 and is developing all of the car's technology in the UK. From unique cabling and connector systems, as well as complete vehicle integration and ADAS hardware and software. From a technical perspective, the D1 will be a British engineering tour de force. A power output of 1,800 horsepowers and a torque of 1,475 foot pounds are targeted for the D1, while the powertrain will be tuned to deliver the project's two main targets 200 miles per hour stop speed and a 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds. A target weight of 1750 kilograms has also been set. A mixture of carbon fiber, advanced composites and alloys have been employed to help keep the car's weight down. Construction is centered on a carbon fiber tube. Number 3. NEO EP9 Chinese electric car startup Next EV launched back in 2017 NEO with an all-new electric car what they claim to be the fastest electric vehicle in the world. The NEO EP9 claims a lap time of 7.52 seconds at the notorious Nordschfeld Nürburgring, which puts it straight in supercar territory. The power for the EP9 comes from four electric motors attached to each wheel, and managed individually by four gearboxes. The interchangeable battery pack set on either side of the car under the door cells, and can be charged within 45 minutes. After exhausting a claimed range of 427 kilometers, the 777 volt powertrain develops 1 megawatt of power, the equivalent of 1,341 brake horsepower and 1,480 newton meters of torque. The EP9 can accelerate from a standstill to 200 kph in a mere 7.1 seconds and can go on to hit a top speed 313 km per hour. Weighing around 1735 kg, the car isn't too light either. Number 2. The CFG Style Kangaroo The GFG Style Kangaroo follows in the footsteps of most other supercar concept designs. It's wide and long slung, with 22 inch wheels and just two seats beneath the glass canopy. But special adjustable hydraulic suspensions is said to give the car the ability to transition between sports car and off roader stances, with ride heights able to vary from 5.5 inches in racing mode to 10.2 inches in off road mode. 
The car's front splitter can retract in the latter setting to improve approach angles on rough terrain. As a result, GFG Style has says that the kangaroo can be used on any surface, from pavement to sand to mud. Power comes from two electric motors, each of which is rated at 180 kilowatts or 241 horsepower, with combined output listed at 482 horsepowers and 501 pound-feet of torque. Rear wheel steering helps make for a tighter turning radius too. The powertrain and chassis were developed in partnership with CH Auto. A 90 kilowatt hour battery pack is said to give a driving range of more than 280 miles on a charge. Number 1. The Hispano Suzia Carmen This is the Carmen, possessing styling quite unlike anything you can see out there, and indeed, any other 1 million pound plus electric supercar that is initially appears so similar to on paper. It uses Formula E developed battery tech to send 1000 brake horsepower to the rear wheels only, and with a top speed of 155 miles per hour, it doesn't seem like they'd want to compete against Remax. And that's exactly what the technical director said, we limit the top speed because we don't think there is sense in it anymore. So what do you think of these new electric supercars? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and turn notifications for the latest car news and reviews. Take care and see you in the next one.